when you talk about memory recall, which is interesting, I, I can't help but see parallels between him and uh, Magnus Carlsen, who's a chess player, who's the number one in the world, the arguably the best ever, certainly the best ever if you just look at absolute numbers. The chess has the luxury of having a rating uh, which you can't have, cannot have in jiu-jitsu because it's a game of human chess. Chess is, a, is just a board game, so you can actually calculate yes. the probability that you could win. So he has the highest ELO rating uh, ever, and he's maintained that rating. He can, without competing against the number two in the world, he can just prove that he's the number one in the world for many years. Uh, anyway, there's uh, certain similarities. One is ability to re recall. So memory recall of information is fascinatingly good. And the other one is not so much a love for perfection, which is something you mentioned, but the the flip side of that, which is what you also mentioned, is the hate of imperfection. Uh, now, in the case of Magnus, it almost uh, creates a level of anxiety for him that's almost destructive. So the thing he seems to hate the most is imperfection against people he knows are worse than him. So the thing he loves is competing against people that are close to his skill level, or the, the favorite is people who are might actually be better than him, especially in certain positions. He loves competing against them. He hates competing against people that are um, still, from the perspective of everyone else, uh, what are called super grandmasters, so top three in the world. But he, he knows he's much better than them. And the anxiety of being not perfect against those people, that's why That's why he, I don't know if you're paying attention, but he stepped away. He's not gonna defend his world championship uh, because he hates the anxiety of playing people worse than him. Interesting. So, he, he figures they would somehow make him look bad or? No, he just, for him, at least the language he uses, it's just not fun. And he likes having fun. It's To him, it was fun to win, no matter the skill level, the, the world championship the first time, but then defending it is a very grueling process. It's, um, with classical chess, you play these many hour, it could be seven hour long games. And uh, on, on top of that, he really hates the fact that it's only, I forget what it is, but it's single digit number of games. He says it's it's low sample. So uh, I can't, uh, I, would, I would like to play 20, 30, 40, 50 games if we're gonna do it this way. But then they're too long, it's gonna take too long. So he's really emphasizes the, the, the fun of it and the, clear demonstration of who's the best. Now, chess is an interesting game. It's probably different than grappling because it's been played for centuries. So there's this giant body of people that are playing it. Like there's other Gordon Ryans out there. Imagine a world where there's multiple Gordon Ryans or something like that, just different dimensions, but uh, you have like sharks everywhere. And so there, there is fun to be had even at the very, 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 very top. But the the memory recall is the thing that stands out and the hate of imperfection, uh, more intense than anybody else in the game. Fascinating.